Good morning, my name is Hunter Smith and I'm a fifth grader at Pinecrest Elementary and my weather question is, what is a front? Perfectly legitimate question. We talk about it, we just had one move through a couple days ago. What is a front? We say it all the time here on 10 News. It all starts with air masses. And you think back to grade school, guys. Think back to grade school, air masses out there. These air masses floating around the earth at all times. You've got cold and dry air masses. They all have different properties. You have warm and moist air masses, cold and moist. So all these different properties make up different air masses. And all of these air masses are separated by these fronts, cold front, stationary fronts. You have uh, dry lines and warm fronts, even some occluded fronts get mixed in there as well. So the basic definition of a front, it is the boundary between two different air masses. But here's the really cool part. All of these boundaries have different impacts on the atmosphere. Let's take a cold front, maybe one of the more common fronts that we might see. You have that cold front is the leading edge of the cooler air advancing into a warmer atmosphere. But when you take a cross section of that cold front, the way that the atmosphere is constructed is not how you might think it is because the cold air is more dense than the warmer air. It undercuts that warmer air, which causes the warmer air to lift up into the atmosphere. It condenses the water out of the atmosphere and eventually that's what creates the clouds and ultimately precipitation.